Tark told me his biggest concern is how much stronger Michigan State is than his Bulldogs. Fresno State in white, Michigan State in the green, and we're underway. Fresno State. And this is Dominic Young out front. Likes to put it up from three-point range. Kendrick Brooks also, number 50, will be watching him. That's him underneath for a couple. And that's about as patient as you will see Fresno State in their half-court offense. Good ball movement that time. And that shot made available by virtue of a nice baseline screen. Longtime Spartan. Joined the Spartan staff back in 1983. Worked under Judd Heathcote for many years. Now getting a chance to run the show. I thought it was interesting, Coach, those comments about moving over one seat and how much different that was. Yeah. And Brooks hits it. Four points now for Brooks and a 5-0 lead for Fresno State. That was just a nice extra pass. Antonio Smith doing a nice job of taking his time on the inside. Getting himself set, knocking down that easy shot. Fresno State trying to go inside. Gray to Smith for two. First two points of the game for Rasan Smith. Back to their man-to-man -man defense. They've been switching it up a little bit. Well, you know, it's good early on in a ball game, especially when that ball is being inbounded on the baseline to play a little zone early to see if you have any success in the zone. If it doesn't work, you stay man-to-man. -man. And that's what you're concerned about. First of all, if you're Michigan State, you've got to convert those easy putbacks. You've got to make those shots. Smith with the running hook. Four points now for Rasan Smith. Green that was set right near the top of the key. There was no switch or bump on it. McCullough. First two points of the game for Darnell McCullough. Rotate and help, and if you don't get help down on that help side, what happens is either there's a nice little interior pass for a shot or the offensive rebound. Brooks for a three. Smith the board. Six points now for Rasan Smith. The other way. This is Kelly. Three on one. Into weather for a couple. He blew the layup. Fresno State with back-to-back -back turnovers in situations where their defense gave them opportunities to score. The bucket and the bruise. Smith fouled by John Garibaldi. And Smith has made a home on the low post, but he gets this one because he runs the floor, makes himself available from that nice kickout pass from Dominique Young. He's enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Big smile on the face of Rasan Smith. Great point guard for Michigan State. First two points for Brandon Bakke from Puyallup, Washington. Staros, for many years, considered one of the top officials out west. McCullough underneath the bucket and the foul. The foul on Anthony Mull underneath. Darnell McCullough is a traffic player. You see right there, he does a nice job of backing the defender, getting him closer to the basket. So when McCullough catches the ball, he's actually set up that shot. So he's got about a four-footer at the time of, of possession. A bulldog run. They went on a 20-2 run and beating Miami. Young. On the steal and the bucket. Three points now for Dominic Young. And a 20-second timeout called by Tom Izzo. Dominique Young, 65 steals on the year. We mentioned earlier, he's averaging about two a game. Now, he's got two fouls in this ball game, so he's got to be careful. But really timed that out well, anticipated where he thought the dribble was going to go, and then used his quickness to jump out and surprise the ball handler, steal it, and then, of course, convert it to the other end. The official, by the way, Dick Cartmel, has a pulled left hand, Stanley for a couple, and his return is doubtful, so we're going with two officials in this game, Richard Ballesteros and Jerry Scott. Fresno State occasionally seems like they're about to put away the Spartans, but the Spartans keep coming back, and Stanley 
four points now for Karee Stanley. Got a nice little turnaround baseline jumper. Yo, Utah into the Sweet 16 now of the NCAA. Nobody is at a three-pointer in this game tonight. Look, changes that. <laughs> And an 11 point Bulldog lead. Under 10 seconds. You get it down here. You don't want to foul if you're Michigan State. Good pressure on the ball. Brooks for three. Indeed. <laughs> Fresno State will go to the locker room with their biggest lead of the game 12 points. Let's take it to Steve Levy for our halftime report. Continues to struggle offensively. They shoot only 43% on the year. And there's the first three-pointer of the game for Dominic Young. That's the confidence factor that I talked about. When you've got a coach that doesn't mind if you take those shots and miss, you'll see some players miss, and then all of a sudden look over to see if they get the coach's approval to shoot another one. Do that out on the perimeter where he'll gamble. He's got two fouls. He's got to play smart. And certainly, he gave up an easy shot. <laughs> Dominic Young. Eight points here in the second half. They love to come down and get and have court sets. And the outside shot will be available. McCullough on the alley -oop. times and then eventually just gave in and, and gave way to the altitude McCullough for a couple Bob is gonna go Get Brooks running that down and retrieving the ball Hendrick Brooks with his sixth rebound of the game Young. <laughs> 14 points now for Dominic Young with the rebound the last couple of times down the floor, Brooks really taking it. The follow and the bucket. Karee Stanley. Inside player, get a body on it so you get the advantage on offense. Assume the shot's missed. Stanley going up strong with the one hand to retrieve the rebound and then quickly exploding right back up. You know, which is about 20 a game, but boy, he's doing a lot of other things there. And, and that defense out on the perimeter is what Coach Izzo talked to us about today. His concerns about being able to make an entry pass. Dominic Young with the left hand. The 19 wins might have solidified that, but it didn't happen. Kendrick Brooks. 16 points now for the junior from New Orleans. Fight has the ball taken away from him by Gray. Here come the Bulldogs. Brooks for three. Go! two-pointer but Fresno State with a 70-51 lead. Details on Sports Center later, guys. All right, Steve, thanks very much. Touchdown pass to Gray. Oh, that should just about do it. Not that the Spartans will quit because they haven't quit all night. Weathers to fight for the board. The save, but Bakke's got it for Fresno State, and he's fouled. And Tom Izzo is not only calling these timeouts and getting these fouls this late in the game for this game, but he's doing it for next year, isn't he, Larry? Oh, absolutely. You, you've only got two seniors on this ball too long where you send a player long to see if you can take the defender with him. If he doesn't go, you throw long. But you get two players out of the way, that offensive player and defensive player. Now it's three on three. It's a lot easier to get the ball inbounded. Bethea hit the three. Bakke to Smith. He blows the jam as time runs out. The Fresno State Bulldogs have moved on to the quarterfinals of the NIT. They'll play Nebraska next after winning.
80 to 70 over Michigan State. For Larry Palmer, I'm Mike Boyd. Thanks for joining us. Sports Center is.